Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be a full review and demonstration on the new Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Like always, I'm going to take you guys through the demonstration portion first. That way you guys can see it being applied to the skin from bare skin, see the coverage, see everything, see if you're interested in it. And then afterwards, we'll break it down, price, pros, cons, claims, all of it. So, let's get started. and do one pump and I'm going to start with a beauty blender like you guys can see my skin is in the process of healing right now so from some previous breakouts um, I do have this little monster over here who doesn't want to go away but um, we're gonna do the right side of my face with the beauty blender and then we'll do the other side with a brush just to kind of compare the difference for you guys based on whatever your preference is I'm just gonna do some dots and then go in with a dampened beauty blender and just stipple that right in. Don't have a primer on today because I typically love using a primer and if I do use a primer it would be the Ole um, Mattifier. This one I talk about all the time. I love it. I find with this foundation though that I don't need a primer. It has a lot of moisture in there and it just has a very nice creamy consistency so I don't find myself needing a primer so I wanted to do it without a primer just in case you're the same way and maybe you don't like primers. This is also a perfect match, like you guys can see face to neck. So there is one layer with the foundation on, no foundation on. I don't know about you guys, but girlfriend can definitely see a difference here. Um, I love the consistency, and like you can also see, it has kind of like a satin finish. It's not completely matte at all, but it's not overly dewy. Really like the finish of it. So I'm going to do one more pump here. It has a really nice pump too. It gives literally like the perfect amount to me. Um, don't mind the hand. It looks a lot lighter. I self tanned and my hands did, did not want to take to the self tanner. It was really strange. I haven't dealt with that before but the rest of my body did. So again I'm just going to stipple this on on the monster right there. A little does go a long way. You could probably get away with um, half a pump. So one full pump on each side but I'm just going for a, you know, flawless coverage here. I'm going to use the City Color. This is a CC F05 brush. Um, any of these kind of flat top or angled top kabuki brushes would work perfectly. I just really like this one, so I'm just going to kind of swipe and buff at the same time. Like you guys can see with just that one little layer that we did, it instantly got rid of all that redness that was hiding around that. Well, not hiding. It was not hiding at all, girl. <laughs> okay, and so this is the side with one layer of the foundation on with a flat brush. I think they give pretty much the same coverage. I think it looks very beautiful, very healthy. And it does stay tacky for, you know, about a minute. So you do want to just let it sit and sink into your skin and then do the rest of your makeup. So this is what the foundation looks like after all the rest of my makeup is on. We have bronzer, we have highlight, we have blush, we have um, just everything going on today. And I have to say just right off the bat, I love the way products just sit onto the skin. Everything blends so seamlessly. So getting into the foundation and the facts, we do get a glass bottle here for packaging and it does come with a nice pump. I also really like this pump because it's not one of those flimsy flimsy pumps. It gives a great amount of product um, and this is the typical one fluid ounce foundation. And yeah, overall packaging, very nice, very sleek, and really like it. So getting into the claims over here, it's claiming to be a medium to full coverage foundation. It's supposed to be lightweight and oil free. It's supposed to be long wearing, water resistant, and sweat proof. That is some pretty hefty claims there, Milani. I mean, this sounds like the ideal, perfect um, summer foundation to me for, it seems, all skin types. When I hear the words long wearing, water resistant, and sweat proof, that really means that it's going to be mattifying. So I thought, this foundation is not overly mattifying. It's not like one of those foundations like the Revlon Colorstay foundation that you put it on and it's like, everything just sucks into your skin and there's just 
no life, no anything. Like you guys saw in the demonstration, it leaves kind of a demi-matte, kind of like a satin finish. Um, very natural looking, but you can definitely mattify if you'd like to with mattifying products like a powder, use a mattifying primer beforehand, things like that. Or if you have dry skin, you can just put it on. Um, just go about your business, put on your blush, highlight everything, and you're good to go. Also for the price, I don't think I mentioned that yet. This foundation retails for $9.99, give or take a dollar, depending on where you're buying it from. And for the shade selection, this foundation comes in 14 different shades and within those shades they have cool undertones neutral and warm undertones which is something I really like you guys know I typically like when foundations come with 20 or more shades just because I really feel like that helps cater to everybody that being said Milani did a great job at having a very nice variety at least within those 14 shades my particular shade is in the shade 04 medium beige which is a perfect match for me right now this one in particular is a pretty standard neutral undertone foundation in my opinion um, with a very, very slight almost orange undertone. But you guys know I really like when foundations have a yellow undertone for me personally just because I do have an olive complexion so I like those more yellow undertone foundations. Um, and I will list down below other foundations and my shades in case you are curious if we're kind of similar. Um, you'll know which one to get. So getting into the nitty gritties, um, I really like applying it like you guys saw in the demonstration with a beauty blender or a flat top kabuki. My ideal preference I think would be a beauty blender because it's quicker and it kind of shears out this foundation. Um, in terms of the consistency, this is a thick foundation but it is not as thick as say the Rimmel Stay Matte. It's definitely not as thick as the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Um, but it is thicker than like the L'Oreal Infallible. It is thicker than the uh, Maybelline Matte and Poreless. To give you guys a reference on the kind of texture that it is, it kind of reminds me of either the um, Maybelline Superstate Better Skin Foundation or also the Boots Number no. 7 Foundation. It has a very creamy, uh, thick consistency, but it's not a mousse or anything like that. I do find it to sit wonderfully on the skin. It does not break me out as well, which is something I am very into because you guys know I have very sensitive skin. Getting into longevity, um, I do find this to be a pretty long wearing foundation. I can definitely get 8 plus hours wearing it. That being said, I do notice the place that I first start to have my foundation break up is right around my nose. I do have a very oily T-zone, so that's pretty normal for me. And then this was kind of new. Um, when I smile, I get a wrinkle right here. Um, pretty typical, I think, when anyone smiles. I notice my foundation, I don't know if you guys can already see it, it kind of shows that line right there. That is kind of saying that this foundation will settle into your fine lines. Um, like you can also see here on my smile line. doesn't do it too bad on my forehead. I have like two indented perma wrinkles already on my forehead and it doesn't really settle into there which is nice because some foundations do. I think this is Milani's first, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is their first liquid foundation. I do have their, where is it? I do have their powder foundation, which I really like as well. It doesn't give amazing coverage, but it's good for applying over top of foundations if you want that va-va-voom coverage. Um, but yeah, go Milani, because we all love their blushes. They've been getting so much hype for their blushes, their eyeshadows, their lipsticks. I'm so happy that they came out with the foundation, and it's working really well for me personally. But yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to say about this foundation. If you're on the fence of getting it or not, I say go for it. Try it out. Um, it seems to be a pretty universal, great foundation. Anyways, you guys, that wraps up this review. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know down below if you try this foundation. What are your thoughts? I'd like to know. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you guys leave. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, found it helpful. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. It's Katerina. Hope you're all having a great day so far. I stuff my teeth. It's my third time filming this intro because girlfriend's cheesing so hard right now I keep eating stuff on my teeth. Anyways, if you're wondering why I'm cheesing so hard, it's because I've got a little companion over here on my left hand. Um, my boyfriend of four 